Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Hi. I'm at my local park out here in my city, and I'm here to take some cardigan pictures. Got all my cardigans. I'm doing the elements today. Hi everyone, it's Shore here. Welcome to my channel. We talk about anything fiber arts related and today's vlog is going to be about me crocheting the four elements and the four elements is actually loosely inspired by Avatar. Actually, the crochet collection concept is based on a world history series that I did in 2023 that is split into three acts. Each act is based on a time period and the first act is on ancient civilizations, the crochet designs that I made drew inspiration from ancient cultures and loosely based from the four element nations from Avatar The Last Airbender. So you're going to see me create this design based off of the four elements in this vlog. The first element I worked on is water. When it came to water, I had these two yarns that I had laying around that I really wanted to work with like a sage teal green and a pastel green color and it was based on the Inuit tribe with the igloo here so I wanted to create a design that had like a tribal feel to it I used the willow granny square stitch along with a mosaic diamond pattern that I kind of made up as I go and attached it together while I did the ribbing at the bottom all of my cardigans are simple in terms of construction where there's a back piece two front piece and two sleeves and I put it all together with ribbing for the front side as you can see i used the same willow granny square and in between that i just did like a granny stitch switching between the two colors of the sage color and the pastel green color here's me crocheting hours away working on this design this was actually the first element and cardigan concept design that i worked on right away because i, I knew and had a feel for what it should look like the rest three elements, I was just going to wing it as I went. For the sleeves, I did a like a floral granny square stitch, I think, and but I just did it the inverted colors with the two colors. And here's how it looks like as a final result with white buttons. I never made anything like this before, so I was very proud of it. And also, it gave me so much confidence to really explore this concept even more because it, it's nothing that I've seen on the day-to-day -day basis on my social media pages. I was holding on to this before I posted it because excited to show water like this. And then here's me modeling it at my local park. I went to this like bay area and just tried to show me near water wearing it <laughs> and I paired it with some simple light wash jeans. But yeah, looks cute. The next element I worked on is fire and honestly I had no idea what I was going to be making but I knew the inspiration that I was going to be drawing from based off of my historical research. Oh at the same time I was writing blog posts on every era in history but covering the fashion history of it so for me it was really interesting to cover Mesoamerica before the colonization and it was so interesting to see what people wore back then. Fire was based off of the Mesoamerican tribes and also specifically based off of Thunderbird. So I went with a Thunderbird tapestry and sewed in sun granny squares that I made. I kind of made the pattern myself. And then using the same floral granny square designs that I did with the water's sleeve, I just changed the colors to make it look like mini suns for the front side. But I used regular granny squares and just used red, oranges, and yellows for the bottom part right here. And then did a whole border design for the back. And here's me working on the granny squares for the front side. For the front side, I was going to keep it simple, just use all the granny squares and then have like a granny stitch in between it, like the way water was, and just sew it all together. And then for the sleeves, I just did a simple granny square 
but using the colors of burgundy red orange and yellow it has been raining and it hailed yesterday it's february and this weather is still rainy cold winter weather and um i think i release like three crochet designs so far this year i'm doing the elements right now and i'm on fire the cardigan and i hope to like finish that tonight and then work on earth and air which i am not looking forward to because so far these designs i have like a an idea of what i want it to be but like as far as the stitches i literally have to make it up as i go and that's not been fun because of so much trial and error but so far it's been looking good like i'd be winging some stuff and i'm like it came out pretty good and uh yeah i think this is like the hardest part of the collection so far just these designs and then after that it, sh it should be a little bit easier like i have a, a sense of the stitch and stuff i'm doing but yeah it's been cold and i've been crocheting a lot however i've been sleeping early and not crocheting too much so i've been taking my time okay that one's really aggressive I'll film again when I have another update. Here's how the front side looks like with the ribbing. I yeah, did simple granny squares in the middle just to like break up the sun looking granny squares that I made. And the back side with the granny squares sleeves. I like how fiery this looks actually. To me, I like to think of indigenous natives as like the element of fire. And then here's me modeling the same cardigan at the local park that I was at. There was like the sandy area, but the sun was like full on out in the sky and I was like, oh the sun's out i have suns on my granny square cardigan let's try to take a photo with the sun in the background and then i just paired it with black jeans now onto the elements of earth earth was going to be very natural to me i really was inspired by just like a tropical jungle forest and i really wanted this to be like a floral cardigan I employed the same mosaic stitch techniques that I picked up and learned back when I was making water and I wanted to make like forest trees and then make this like cool pattern on top of that and I was a little bit inspired by like these like geometric shapes from the Earth Kingdom in Avatar and then on top of that I wanted to add like these hexagon florals because I have not done any hexagons especially a floral hexagon like that so I was like oh this should be cool as like the back piece and then the front side I was gonna repeat the forest mosaic and then add the same floral granny square pattern that i've made for the sun and the water sleeves and just change it to make it look like daisy granny squares i used forest green color and sage green color for this cardigan so it's gonna be very earthy and green and floral and just botanical here's me working hard away at the third cardigan of this four element challenge that i just made for myself and not gonna lie i was feeling pretty good i'm like oh third cardigan down and i was winging it we got this however while i was making the earth cardigan i was still thinking about what i'm gonna do for air because i have no idea what i was gonna draw inspiration from Anyways, this is how the daisy granny square looks like for the front side. I did like this purple daisy color and a white daisy color and then used the forest green and sage green yarn as the back color of the granny squares and then just sew it all together. And this is how the back side looks like all sewn together, which is so pretty. I It's one of my favorite cardigans actually. And then here's the sleeves. I decided to just go with the sage green color because I ran out of the forest green color and I didn't have enough. So I just went with like one sage green rather than that checkered background that I was going for. And here's the final results of the earth cardigan. Probably one of my best ones that I've ever made. And it's so detailed and beautiful and botanical and floral and just overall so earthy. I'm an earth sign, so this is probably a little biased of me on why it's my favorite element. And then to have the backside with a hexagon floral 
which I might do again. Like I might just make a whole cardigan just based off of this like hexagon floral thing I got going on. And to have that attached with the forest mosaic stitch, the mosaic stitch literally changed my skill level because I like it more than just plain old tapestry and it really makes your design pop and look really eloquent in my opinion. And then you know me, I gotta think quick on my feet. I had to find some green bushes with florals to pose in front of for these pictures or video. And I just paired it with my same black jeans. It's just to show this earthy cardigan with the shrub background. I took many takes with this cardigan. It was a very fun day. Now on to the last but not least element, air which is quite an interesting way I'm going to be making this cardigan. Since my concept was based off of ancient civilizations, I needed to also include the classical antiquity era, which is the Greco-Roman civilization. And I also drew in some fantasy inspiration from the game Chrono Trigger, based off of the era, the antiquity era they had in that game too, which is uh, the Kingdom of Zeal. And to me, that's like one of my favorite like eras in the game because the music was popping, the people in the game was also like interesting. <laughs> So I needed to create a cardigan based off of the classical design. And I had to pick out colors that I think that would suit this era. So I was choosing kind of like a royal purple color because royal purple was very considered a high commodity back then. And I paired it with this lilac color and also paired it with a sky blue color and this like bright blue color and to tie it all off i kind of went with the cream color to pull it all together and to me i think that like represents air because it, it gives me like purple wind or sky blue colors and to have like such intellectual classical philosophy going on during that era so it reminded me of what the element of air is like and here's me making the granny squares it's like a diamond granny square shape that i went with and the diamond granny squares were going to be part of the the back piece the front piece and the sleeves and my idea was to pull this inspiration of greek mosaic stitch pattern that i saw in a different youtube video it was like a blanket and it had like greek symbols and designs in it and i i took one design from it from the mosaic stitch and put it into my cardigan this is how the back piece look like so far and i really love the swirls it just gives me such like greek design to it i like how it went from blue to purple it's so cool and i i'm actually this is like probably my second favorite one because of just how unique it looks and it just fits the theme so well and i'm like y'all four out of four cardigans i can't really believe i bodied that concept when it comes to crocheting there's a lot of sewing involved and i think people that are just getting into crochet don't really realize that i mean you can try to crochet the con the cardigan together but pieces like this you end up having to sew sew it together or single crochet or slip stitch it one thing i've learned making these four elements is how much creativity i had to really jump through and expend my energy on because usually I just make something plain and simple or follow like an idea of a pattern but to really challenge and push myself with this concept I wanted to really not only understand history in terms of clothing and fashion but also push the boundaries of what crochet can be with design and here's how the front pieces look like it's kind of like a repeat of the back piece but just split into two smaller rectangles and for the sleeves i just decided to go with like the diamond granny squares and here's the final piece i went with two purple buttons and then two blue buttons and it really tied the whole piece together i love how the cream color balance everything out to me this is like classical antiquity era in a design here's me modeling the cardigan again at my local park. I decided to pair it with simple light wash jeans. I don't know what I was doing here. I thought if I was gonna film air, I should really point it at the sky and not at a park. <laughs> 
So here's the many takes of me staring or appearing in the camera shot from like pointing at the sky and I actually really like this shot angle in the end because it's so cool and fits the concept that I was going for and the shot in terms of the the photos that I took made it look really artsy and not gonna lie I would try to redo this whole photo shoot thing again with like maybe a different setting or maybe better camera but so far I liked it overall I think it was really fun to do and really got my message across of what I was trying to do with this collection and that's just act one anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully I will work on other vlogs because I came out with two more acts with more designs and based off of more history periods that I covered and hopefully that'll interest you and if it does interest you comment about it down below and maybe I'll get to editing it this act one ancestry part of my overall big collection called dark night of the soul which is like I have like information about on my other social medias if you want to check that out and like just do a whole deep dive into it also check out my other social medias and shops if you want to shop my crochet patterns check out what I'm making and posting I'm more active on that I'll try to be more active on here there's a lot of content ideas that I really want to work on and share with you all so see you in the next one bye